I'm Jill. I'm a museum educator here at the Creative Discovery Museum, and we're in Make It Space today. Today, we're going to be putting together a sock puppet. So what you'll need is, of course, a sock. You wanna make sure you talk to your parents and you don't wanna take your good socks. Maybe a sock that lost its friend. Um, and find any other things you can decorate with around your house. So anything you think that you can put on your sock puppet, you wanna gather all together at once. Today on my sock puppet, right here is I'm going to need another eye. I today wanna to teach you guys how to sew on a button so you can do button and eyes like I am. So first you'll need a needle and thread and also your button. So to thread, you wanna ask your mom and dad if they've got needle and thread, which a lot of people do, but you're gonna take your needle. I've got a big plastic one here just so you guys can see what I'm doing and your thread you're just gonna slowly push it through the hole, okay? And then you can tie a knot at the end. And this way, if you tie a knot with it doubled, your needle will not come off your thread while you're sewing. Makes it very convenient. So once I've tied my knot, I'm going to trim my thread with my fabric scissors. So you guys can see it. I've got a big board to show you and I made a big button out of plastic here. We named him Mr. Button and gave him a cute little face. So I'm gonna show you guys how to sew on Mr. Button here. So sewing will wanna come through the back. So on your sock, you'll wanna come from the inside. So we're gonna come through the back of your sock and pull your needle to the front. You're gonna find your button, Mr. Button here and we're gonna slide the button on and place that where we want. You're gonna pull your needle and thread until it's tight, showing that your knot has hit the back. Next, you'll wanna find the other hole on your button, whether you have a two hole button or a four hole button, and you're gonna find the hole and pull it through. Then you're also gonna find the hole or find a spot next to your first buttonhole and pull tight until your button has the first signs of being stuck to your sock. You're gonna go through this motion at least two or three times to make sure your button stays on if it gets pulled a little bit. So now we're gonna come from the back again. We're gonna find that same first hole and we're gonna keep poking until we get right through. Pull it till it's tight. And then we're gonna go back in that other side just like we did. Pull it till it's tight. Find that spot again. It might take you a second to find that same hole because I know fabric gets really hard when you put so much thread in one spot, but we're gonna keep going. And like I said, we're gonna do it at least three times. So when you have your button on your sock, it doesn't move around. That way you know your puppet's eye is gonna stay in place. The next thing you're gonna do is tie your knot. I like to tie a knot with my needle. So I go under the thread that I have on the back of the button. So the button, when you sew, it makes a nice straight line. line. You're gonna, gonna go, go underneath, underneath that, that and, and pull. pull. So you've, you've got, got a little, little left, left and, then and then you spin, spin it through, through again. again. Until, Until it makes a knot. And I, I always test it on making sure it doesn't, doesn't pull out. out. So I actually pulled my yarn off, but that's how you sew a button that way. We're gonna put a button eye on the other end of my sock puppet today, because right now my little friend only has one. So we're gonna hold the sock to where you can get both the inside and the out of the area you wanna put your eye. So you wanna hold your sock open. And let's see, I'm gonna do this red button for his other eye, have him look kind of crazy. And I already have my needle and thread here. So I'm just gonna thread this one on quickly, just like we did with the other one. So you're gonna come from the inside of your sock and just poke your needle through kind of in the area you want your eye to be. So we're just gonna poke it through. All right, and then we find that button. Make sure it's on the side you want and pull it. You'll wanna set your button next, just like we kind of did on the board. So I want my button to be right there. So I'm gonna go through and poke through the other hole on this button and I'm gonna find it. 
you find it in the back and we're gonna pull it till my knot hits the back of the button just like we did the first time. And we're gonna come through and we're gonna find that hole again. It may take a minute. You gotta, it's the toughest part is going through and finding that same place. So if you just take your needle and you keep poking, you eventually get it through the buttonhole. And just like before, we're gonna do it two or three times just so that button stays in place. Now, if you do poke yourself with your needle, it'll be okay. It's just a little bite. When I'm sewing by myself at home, I stick my needles back in the top of my thread just so I don't lose them. I now have two eyes on my sock puppet. Let's see. So he's got some eyes here. What we need next is probably a nose. So if you don't want button eyes or you don't happen to have buttons, you could do googly eyes or markers, pom poms, whatever you choose for your puppet. I am now gonna use some hot glue, which you'll need your parents' help with. Um, or if you guys have another type of glue at home, we like to use tacky glue here at the museum. So we can do either one. And I'm gonna use that to glue on a nose. So we're gonna do, let's see, I think my puppet, maybe he needs a pointy nose. So we'll take some hot glue and very slowly put one little dribble on it. And so say, if you're using hot glue, be very careful. It does, it is very hot, just like it says. And we'll stick our nose on right here. And we're gonna be silly. We're gonna put a little tongue in his mouth. Let's see what we can find in our little phone that I have today. Let's see, I've got, oh, I've got an orange triangle. And my phone just happens to be sticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the back of this sticky off. Just add a little bit of touch of hot glue to it just to help it out. And we're gonna stick his little tongue inside on my puppet. Now let's check him out. Let's see, he's got his face finished. So right now my little friend has eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Right here, there we go. Now you can see his little tongue a little bit better. So I think he needs some hair. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use pom-pom. Puff, add some hot glue, and glue it on above his eyes. And we're gonna have some little buns today. So we're gonna do two of them. Put on a little bit of glue on this one. So make sure it stays good and tight. All right, let's see what we got. So if you're using hot glue, you just wanna be careful when you put your hot glue on that if you put your sock on, that it's still gonna be a little warm. So today we have made our puppet friend. Now you can do any chain you want on it. You could take markers and add eyebrows or add expressions. You could draw on ears. You can give them a body. One other cool thing you can do with a sock puppet, if you make one that's standing up straight, this way, instead of this way, you could turn it into a stuffy. So like this one here, our little friend here has eyes and nose and a mouth, and he's a little warm body. And we stuffed him with some plastic bags. So once he's stuffed with plastic bags, all you have to do is either glue him shut or you can sew him shut, similar to the way we sewed a button. So that's how we make our puppet friends. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I'm Jill, a museum educator. Thank you, see you next time.